I miss the DJ and late night Dasher streams. Ever been to Texas? If I fly from the airport, you're back in uh, San Francisco now, back to Paris July 1st. Oh, nice. Are you going to SwitchCon or are you just going for uh, just another uh, personal leisure trip? I think TwitchCon's the week after, right? Like the 8th or something? Yeah, I hope you had a really good time. I didn't get to catch a lot of your uh, your travel streams on your adventures this time, but I've been trying to watch it on your Instagram. So looked really nice, that place you had that had the... Uh, Looks like you had like a private um, kind of like hot tub or like bath right outside your room. That looked really cool. Then you didn't you go to one on this trip that uh, had like the underground pool or whatever you were in? Dasher sounds like he wants to claw his way back to being a regular streamer. Hope he does it. He definitely has a knack for. Yeah, definitely. Shot. That's what I was thinking. Like, uh, you know, I'm not, did you see his YouTube video about the where he did the sandwich in New York and then in uh, Brazil? You know, and that's. Yeah, like I, Dasher has such a great personality uh, and way of presenting stuff. So like I kind of saw in that video, it was like kind of going back to, you know, what I remember from some of the really early uh, streams too, you know. So I definitely understand the struggle of being a full-time streamer, but, uh, but yeah, I think he's, like that video was really great. That was really awesome how he did that. And then uh, I really liked uh, recently, I don't know if he's been doing this week, I haven't been able to catch up as much, but he, I know last week, early in the week, he uh, went out and did like this, about an hour and a half, I think he called like a reading the book stream, he was reading like a, some kind of a self-help book or a book about like, you know, when you're trying to get motivation or when you don't want to go out and do something or you feel like you're out of time, I guess, is what I got from what he talked about, uh, you know, just kind of make time for just a short bit, it's like they talk about, you know, go out and do a 30 minute walk, you don't have to do a two hour walk. Uh, and I think he was kind of relating that, from what I get, he was kind of relating that at stream about, hey, just go out and do an hour and a half or so and just chat with chat, see what happens, walk around the city. I think that's a really good idea. Maybe like mix in the travel and then when he's back home, go out and just do like an hour, hour and a half of just whoever can come in, you know, and just have like a nice chat with chat. If you stumble on something, that's fine. I don't know, I kind of feel like that'd be a really good plan for, uh, you know, getting streams in as well when you feel like you don't have, like, enough content for, like, a long-form stream. Just my thoughts. I kind of got to skim the VOD, you know. I didn't get to watch the stream, but that's kind of what I gathered from what he talked about on the stream. And I thought it was a really good vibe just watching the VOD back, so. I'll be in Paris all weekend for TwitchCon. Oh, nice. And you're going to Nice as well. Mallorca, we had a hot tub on our balcony. Same, same resort had the pool in the cave. Oh, my. That sounds so nice, Mac. That's awesome. I'm glad you all got to go do that. I hope it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, you go on some really good trips. Eat Mac eats good food when he's back home and out traveling and goes on some awesome trips as well. So if you don't know Jam on it Mac, hop over there and give Mac a follow. Let me do a shout out here real quick. Is it gonna go? There it goes. Yeah, so not only does Mac take us on some of his uh, travels sometimes. But as well, streams in uh, San Francisco. Oh, hold on, Mac, not jam on it back. Maybe that's one of your alts, but hey, let me shout out the right username here. But yeah, Mac also does uh, streams in San Francisco pretty much about every Saturday or Sunday. Takes us out around uh, San Francisco to events. We do a lot of geocaching. It's really fun. Always enjoy getting to hang out in there. Hopefully I'll get to meet up with you. I was just talking to Poultry Motion yesterday about a uh, TwitchCon Vegas, so I don't know if you're planning on going this year, but I need to get home and get on that and uh, look at booking my um, booking my hotel and everything, so hopefully if you're going to be there, I know we've talked about San Diego and I wasn't able to make it, but yeah, I really hope we can uh, get to meet up and uh, run around Vegas some, so. Felt like uh, Mallorca was a bit boring, maybe some areas are more fun than where we were. Gain 10 pounds, nice people, fat. <laughs> Gotta get out there walking and hit those geocaches again now, huh? Have y'all tried the circle water bottle that has the flavor built in? Uh, I haven't, Sarah, but I've been seeing a lot of people with those. And uh, like I said, the water that's in my water bottle right now is like the infused, uh, like lemon and lime water from the hotel. And I'm surprised, it actually has a pretty good flavor. So I don't know if they like, pre-infuse it or if it's the actual fruit that infuses it in the holder but 
And that kind of idea of circle now though, you put like little things in there and it kind of infuses your water as you drink it. I like water, but I feel like that would help me drink even more water. Because sometimes you just want some flavor, but you don't really, like I'm tired of sodas. I really don't like sodas that much anymore, honestly. Sometimes I just get them because, you know, I need some caffeine or need some flavor. But have you, uh, have you tried one yet? You already have your room booked for Vegas. Uh, so you should be there. Nice. Are you staying uh, downtown or like mid-strip? I think I'm looking at a, uh, I'm probably going to book through a Caesars property. I think I'm looking at mid-strip. So I hear that's sort of close to the convention center. Yeah, this waterfall is really nice. Maybe I can get a little picture with the camera. Let's turn this way. Maybe I can get a good screen grab off of it. All right, I guess let's walk a little more because people are kind of just chilling at the waterfall. Not really doing much. Oh, cool, Mac. Well, yeah, I think I'll probably be pretty close by. I might look at that one, actually. I know it's on my program I'm going to book through. Uh, I'll just have to see which one offers, uh, you know, a decent rate. They're starting to go up now, so I need to get on booking it. I just hadn't fully decided yet what dates I want to be there. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking I might do... Uh, maybe Thursday through Tuesday. That way I'll be there a day before everything gets wild and then uh, be there a couple days after if people happen to still be around or if anybody wants to like, uh, you know, head out to like Boulder City or go out to Hoover Dam or something the, the day before or a couple days after. I think that'd be kind of fun. I have to check in with her placement too. I know he invited me to fly out to OC maybe and ride over with him in his car. Uh, or to ride back to OC and fly out of there with him. So I'll have to see if he still knows uh, what his plans are and maybe if we can make that work. So that'd be kind of fun. Meet up with Smith in uh, OC, Orange County, uh, a day or two before, or go back with him and spend a day or two in Orange County and then uh, fly back. So, Well, yeah, definitely once I have some plans, I'll let you know too. And yeah, maybe we can make something happen this year. I was just telling Chad the other day how much I enjoy getting to meet you on the road trip. So. Uh, once these people get out of the way, we'll walk across and we'll get walking through the rest of the park and then maybe we'll circle back to this area. Texas give you uh, caffeine with less of that shit filling. Or teas, teas. Sorry, I thought you said Texas. I was like, Texas gives you caffeine. Teas give you caffeine with less of that uh, being shitty feeling. Don't get me wrong, I still grab me a zero here and there. Yeah, I need to drink more teas too. Only problem is honestly, I don't, I feel like they make me uh, have to stop and pee a lot. So sometimes when I'm driving for work, I try to like avoid them, so. <laughs> oh man, this guy's, I guess they're out here for family photos. He's wearing a full suit. It looks nice, but that can't be comfortable, right? Glad it's in Vegas will be more fun to watch. I don't know. San Diego looks really fun, but yeah, I feel like Vegas. I don't know. I feel like Vegas is going to be like a mixed bag. It's going to be very insane or a lot of fun. Probably a combo of both. <laughs> uh, luckily, yeah, it's a really big area, though, so I feel like people will be able to spread out a lot more than they... You know, San Diego, it looked like most people kind of stuck to like that gaming, the gaming bar and a couple of the restaurants around the convention center. Yeah, I feel like Vegas, people are going to be able to spread out a lot more. What the? Miki is raiding with 75 viewers. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Mikey, or Miki as TTS says, what's up? Yo, welcome in. Raid, raid. I'm going to give another shout out here. What the heck? Yeah, give you the newer shout out too. Yeah, welcome in everybody. Let me grab the camera here and say what's up to you. Mikey, what were we up to today? Were we uh, doing Diablo Diablo uh, 4, right? 
We're doing a game, game gaming stream today. What's up, everybody coming in? I'm Lee. Today we're in uh, San Antonio, Texas. So this is our final day. We're at the Japanese Tea Gardens, just north of the city of downtown. Uh, we got about 30 minutes left to walk around here. So we're right near the waterfall, which is really busy right now. But uh, yeah, welcome in. We're gonna do a little more of San Antonio here, and then we're gonna head up to Austin and uh, probably walk around a little bit, get some food, and maybe see like 6th Street, see what's going on.